Hi parents, welcome to your daily sanity saving tip to help you survive a lockdown with your family during the pandemic. Today I thought I would talk about judgment because I think that as the um, opening up starts to happen and we're starting to reintegrate uh, in a bigger way, that we're going to start seeing some uh, judgment happening as we cast aspersions at others who may be making decisions for their behavior that we disagree with. Or we may feel judged ourselves because we've made decisions about enrolling our kids in school or camp and other people think that that's a bad idea. So I think more judgment is going to come up. And uh, judgment really just creates a whole lot of societal suffering. And yes, it's natural to, to judge, people do it, but we can reduce that suffering by judging a whole lot less. In fact, when we stop judging others or reduce the amount that we judge others, interestingly, it means that we also shift our idea of how much we're being judged. So if you judge less, you will feel less judged. It all starts with awareness. Pay attention. Could it be that you're actually a bit more of a judgy person than you knew? So always change begins with awareness. The second thing then is shift. How do we shift our perspective? Rather than being one of judgmentalness and saying that somebody is being morally wrong or that you're superior to them or they're in some mistaken way, just know they did not wake up saying, I wanna be a jerk today. That's not where they're coming from. If we can switch our mindset and be curious and to say, huh, I wonder what the backstory is there. I wonder that person in their life with the knowledge that they have and all the variables that are happening, I wonder why they made that decision. Why was that decision right for them? A classic example is getting cut off in traffic. We can be cut off and raise our fist and think, you jerk, why did you cut me off? Or we could think, huh, I wonder why that person was driving so haphazardly. I wonder if they just found out that there's a child sick at home and they're rushing home to, to help them and they had to take a little bit more risk to get there more quickly. And we also have to remember we've been in that same boat. You're probably a very good driver, but have there been times when you actually didn't prepare or weren't paying attention and, and something's happened? Um, so we're all just humble humans trying to, to do our best. And certainly with the social distancing rules uh, as things are starting to open up, I think we have to realize that there are differences of opinion and just like any other polarized topic that's really important, whether that is the stance between the Democrats and the Republicans or any other polarized topic like that, we know that just fighting and screaming louder is not a way to sway somebody's opinion and behaviors and attitudes. It comes from having dialogue. It comes from being curious about the other person's position and trying to work to find some common ground. If ever there's been a time where we've learned that we need to cooperate and get along with each other, it's now during the pandemic. So railing your hand and judging is not the best route to go for the end goal that we want. So if you do feel like people have a difference of opinions around safety, first and foremost, look after yourself. And if you do have to breach the subject, we want to do it through curiosity and understanding about what have they come to learn and know and how are they making those decisions for themselves. The more you feel secure in your position, in how you've decided to act, and how you're going to make decisions for your family, the less you're gonna feel that pressure of judgment from others. So, I hope that helps. Hang in there.